Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage and I am just outside of Springfield, Illinois here at Tammy's Treasures. We're gonna go and see what sort of treasures Tammy has. Antique treasures, most likely. Let's go see if we can find anything for resale. I'm really excited. Very pretty. Here we go. Well, I just walked in and spotted a deal, I think. Is that chipped? It's actually not that bad. This is a blue lusterware little bird for three dollars. Little ashtray, open mouth ashtray, made in Japan. It's actually very good. Oh wow, that's a neat clock. Is it like a reproduction or something? I don't think it's that old. That's cool. Oh, it's duh, it's Nick at night. <laughs> you know, I have a problem when I don't read. Does anybody else do that? They look, look at like the tiniest of details instead of like the thing right in front of their face. Just get my cart, bird. Okay. All right. Oh, is that old? No, I don't think so. No, you're not old. You're cool though. $30, $38. Nice. People love their bee things. I like this one more. 1932. Woo. That's also 38. It's very pretty. I was thinking ahead and I got myself a cart. That's always fun. Look at the bathtub. Oh, look at her. Hi, girl. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. What in the world is this supposed to be right here? What, is, what are you doing? What is this? You're silly. What is this supposed to be? Flowers, it's just flowers, okay. It's, it's a, I mean, a roundabout way to get it done, but it, it's, it's all covered up with splatter. The shade is awesome. Yep. What is this? Ice scraper. Oh, everyone needs one. And a torchier lamp. Ooh, that's beautiful with all of the glass. Those should glow. You want to see if they glow? Let me get out my pocket my bobber. And this is a pocket black light. Come on now. There we go. Got it. There you go. See it green? It's blown green. That's cool. You're cool looking. Yeah. I found one of my eggs. Five dollars. And that's Napco Air in the blue. It's a pretty one. I like the blue ones. I like blue ones, pink ones. I don't get really the cream ones that much. They gotta be special. Okay, so far I've got ceramic items. That's a cool fan. Look at that. With the... With the wire around it. I'm getting blown, like, heavily right here. Oof. Well, that's a nice restaurant where... Sugar Bowl. Jackson, China. Let's see how much it is. Oh, it's as is. Oh, there's a chip on it. It's $5 regardless. That's nice. You just put it right back down. Beautiful. I love it. So this is the end of this section right over here. You just sort of have to turn back around. And we will. We'll do that. Welcome to booth eight. Sewing on the side. Treasures. All right. So let's look for those treasures. Let's look for those. Um, don't you think these are upside down? Don't we think? Maybe not. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay. Well, you know, with Christmas around the corner and by around the corner, I mean in a few months, like multiple months, we get to see these again. The ceramic Christmas trees. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of these again. Uh, they were crafted, handmade in the 70s, 80s, 90s, present day actually, because of the popularity of them coming back. So you'll find them all different ways, all different heights, molds, paint jobs. By Atlantic mold, Holland mold, those are the most prevalent ones. And a blow mold back there. <laughs> Who made the blow mold? Empire, maybe? Who made this one? What do you think? Yes, Empire. Empire did it. 
and this is, I'm, I want to give you the cost because I know you like to know these things, $39 from 1968. Um, I, I think they're a little high on this one. This one you can find a lot. Just a little high, but maybe somebody will pay it. You never know. I'm not knocking anybody for anything. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, I just knocked the camera, though. <laughs> okay. There's some uranium glass. I can't forget my, my basket. I left my basket over there. Here, I'll just walk back to it. It's kind of paltry. I've got two things in it right now. This is beautiful. That's so pretty. You know what? Am I getting into Greek stuff lately or something? I wonder about me. I wonder. I don't know. It's like kind of into the Egyptian stuff and Greek, Roman. Ooh, beautiful shell pink. $19. That is a good price for that. Nice big old open bowl. This butter dish is in like a, well, I was going to say Azurite or Delphite, but it, it's so translucent. Maybe it's just milk glass. No, it says, actually says light blue butter dish. This is Hazel Atlas in the crisscross pattern, by the way. They made this in lots of colors. Clear, blue, light blue, apparently. Oh, this is cool. This is McKee. They made canister sets and they made refrigerator sets too. This is the jadeite color. Also McKee denim in white, light blue. Sometimes they have a screen print on them too. Not necessarily this form, but McKee was known for that. They have a really popular ships pattern. The ships on them would be printed and they're in red. And I also think they did them in black, either black or dark blue screen printing over white. McKee is an older brand as well. So we like that. We like McKee. I like McKee. Mm -hmm. And it's an early milk glass. So that's fun. Okay. Oh, speaking of more things like that, we've got the gooseberry in the pink right there, and we've got the Amish butter print in blue and the snowflake garland right there. We've got a top. That's only $3 because it's missing its lid. And that Hazel Atlas strawberry is $15, the going rate. And then we've got more or less the 60s wheat harvest autumn pa patterns down there. Okay. Oh, look, it's like an entire booth of tins and things. Oh, look, the no moth. Here's another one. I'll buy this one for $6. Oh, and there's another one. I'm going to get these because they're very popular for Halloween. Are you also the same price? $6, yeah. I've got like four of these now. That's just me, mine. A whole bunch of something. Oh yeah, the colors, black and orange. Cannot forget black and orange. I'm just checking to see if there's any others that I would be a fool not to buy. Not really. I'm not a fool. Not today. Okay, I just spotted these lithographs. Let me look at them. Let me look at you. Hello. Ooh, this is a fox print, it says. So an Atkinson fox. I like this one a lot. By the way, I've been asked, how do I know instinctively or automatically that it's a lithograph? Well, lithograph is a word, it's a term, and if you look up the etymology on it, you can find out where the root is and how it's got its name. But it's basically any time, and this is how I understand lithography, is any time you have a plate and you have to create a plate and transfer it to a medium, such as like paper in this case. Now that falls under a lot of things. There's chromolithography, there's regular lithography, there's uh, st uh, st um, with actual stones, like making plates on stones. Then there's metal plates, but because it is a mass produced print predating modern printing methods, I use the term lithography or lithograph. So it is a mass produced print. 
and it's pro it was produced in a way that was most popular at the time for cost of for cost reasons. But since then, we've kind of moved on to different print processes. Now, another way you can know is if you look up close with a loop, a magnifying loop, a jeweler's loop, and you can look for the dot matrix, the dot pattern. That's McCoy. You're McCoy. And it's uh, $98. Yep. Milk glass. Milk glass, milk glass, milk glass. Okay. I'm trying to be cognizant of moving slowly because I know that whenever I'm hyped up on caffeine, I get a little bit fast. <laughs> Darn it, I almost left my cart back there. I'm such a silly goose. Come here, little cart. Come here. I don't want to forget about you. This section over here looks good. It's 20% off everything over $25. It excludes firm or already on sale things. So there's a couple of Marigold, maybe Northwood, Carnival glass vases. Hmm, look at you being all carnival-y. <laughs> so this one, it's not marked. 40 bucks. Yeah. I will leave those. Carnival glass is fun. Carnival glass is fun. I think I have, I have a few in the marigold I need to sell. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not low on carnival glass. Now I am kind of low on the amethyst colorways, but not the marigold. Okay, so I guess we could talk about these. These are great for Christmas. These are footed sherbet dishes and the pattern, I'm trying to find my words here, if this is boopy. So very similar to like the thousand eye glass or whatever it's called. That's beautiful though, yep. They made these in all different styles and sizes and cups and all, all different. Look, see, we were just talking about that. There's the Pyrex primary dishwasher damage. Some claim that they can clean that. I bet you the hardcore Pyrex people have ways like with vinegar or something. It takes vinegar and patience. I have the vinegar. I don't have the patience. <laughs> I don't. Ooh, you're beautiful, but it's $28. That's nice. It's milk glass. I like that. Well, I'm gonna have to leave you. Yeah, you get to stay right there. We mustn't forget it's still 20% off, but that's not enough for me. Good. Oh, that's a nice seti. Seti? Seti? Love seat? What do they call these darn things? I forget. It's called, oh, a seti. Seti. I knew it. Oh my gosh, look at all those markdowns. F uh, 425, 365, 200. Do I hear 150? <laughs> it's really beautiful. You really are. And you know it. Yeah, you do. Well, yeah, look here, more Atkinson Fox prints. So this one here, um, it's a little faded. 75, not bad. This one is better in my opinion. The colors are much clearer and it's 75. That's beautiful. So fun fact about things like this. The red is actually one of the first colors to fade. So sometimes you'll find a lithograph completely devoid of red flowers and they'll be a completely different color, like yellow. But that's beautiful, it looks good. 75, hmm. You look nice. I, I like it, but I wouldn't, I don't need it for that much. Okay. I really don't even have a place to put it, to be honest with you. I do have a place. Ooh, look at the Czechoslovakia. Okay, you're stunning. <laughs> $25, so it's a Czechoslovakia. That's very nice, the fact that it's orange and black. And look at this cup and saucer. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. $10. I mean, that's not the smartest thing for me to do resale-wise, but that is ridiculously cool. 
I only wish, my only wish was that the cup was inverted and it was like orange body with black trim on this just for for a better for a better contrast but that is cool is that blue ridge or blue mountain or blue something it is blue mountain see i i know things sometimes sometimes oh late let there be some of that Look at the green. Look at your green uranium self all in a cabinet. You need a black light in here. They need to put black lights right there. They need a black light there. And that's it, just black light right there. They're missing out on that market. Look at the Fenton baskets. Beauty. Well, here's something different we don't usually get to talk about. These are called funeral fans. They're sort of advertising. So you can either collect them for their pictures, like this, that's the Capitol building, or because they are advertised on the back. Or for both reasons. But yeah, there's a, that's cool. Look at that one with the Fisher guy, Fisher boy. So that's all you can date. You could probably date that based on the, um, just the phone number alone. <laughs> there was only four. <laughs> They were able to have three digit phone numbers. Hey, guess what? If you want to argue with me about litho, look at the fact that it says litho right there. Can you see that? It says litho. Yeah, now what's what? So they're calling this a litho and it's, it's a mass print. Same, same, same. The same same scenario as those um, Maxfield Pier Maxfield Parish or uh, Robert Atkinson Fox Prince. Okay. Oh, look at that! All the it's like a card catalog situation. Ooh, the Lennox figurines. I've sold those before. They're very good. They're very delicate and nice looking. And they've got Moriagi in here, or actually no, Cloisonne, or Cloisonne, if you want to pronounce it the French way, Cloisonne. But this, this is cool. It's a card file cabinet for 15, 1575. 1575. Okay, they're still in upstairs, so we're gonna go up here. Oh. Are we gonna be alone up here? Looks pretty empty. Okay. Oh, they have carts. You know what, I don't like things like this. Look, Ben Franklin, that's really cool. That was an old store, an old apartment store. It's, I'm too young for it, but it was a thing. Okay, so we've got Hall, that's the autumn leaf pattern, I believe. It's the jewel tea dishware. So that kind of stuff like that it was actually sold door to door by the jewel tea man or something like that. Jewel tea person. Door to door dishes. It's funny because it's heavy, it's heavy stuff. It's almost as heavy as like an iron stone. Okay. Yeah, it's very open concept up here. Yeah, you are. Look at you little duck. Oop. Very nice. Trick or treat. Oh, how cool. $35. That is neat. There might be newer vendors up here. I bet you. I bet your bottom dollar. See, look, booth for rent. And with newer vendors, sometimes comes cheaper prices. It's a trade-off because if you're a newer person, then you might actually have a better handle on what's popular right now. That might be Higgins Glass. And if you're an older reseller, then certain things you won't maybe know. Okay, four dollars. No, but it's chipped. I'm not sure. What does it say? It is. 
it, there's just like a, I don't know, consignment. We might not buy anything up here. It's kind of barren. Here's a lady up here. What is she doing? Looks like she has tattoos all over her arm. <laughs> but it's actually just magazine pictures. She couldn't afford the real thing, so she had to paper modge podge them to her skin. She's a modge podge queen. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you are. Purple picture for $8. Look at the hobnail. It's all blown. You're a blown glass, baby. I like it because of its purple color. That's a nice bed. The problem with old beds, they're usually full size. And that's just not what people use these days. People like queen size and king size. Oh, it's sold. It's a little rocking chair. It's a bicycle table. That is neat. So $600, that would be so cool over in California, somewhere, somewhere, someplace. My, oh my. It's just kind of empty around here. I mean, there's stuff, but you know, you know how it be. Okay, I'm just not used to being able to like do a dance around here. I could, I could kick it up like one of the, what do you call them girls that dance in the line? Radio City Rockets. I could dance like them around here. Or were those people that are all Irish and they dance in a line, they're Irish people. Yeah, I could be one of them, but I'm not Irish. So there goes that idea. I'll never be an Irish dancer. Nope. That's one thing I can't do. You know what another thing is I can't do? Straight up dance. So whether or not I'm Irish is beside the point. Ooh, so there's the Caprice. No, not the Caprice. That's a car. There's the Capri pattern. Capri blue. That little celery size right there. They made that in other colors too. Hmm, nice, nice, nice. Well, I'm about done. I just wanted to walk backwards for a minute. I mean, not literally. <laughs> walk back the way that I came. <gasps> Look, it's a tip. I must tell you this tip. Um, walk against the way that you walked the first time and you'll see things that you didn't see the first time because you're seeing them in a different light. Okay, so am I gonna buy these? Yeah, might as well. There's, they're all, they're all $6. <laughs> Oh wow, Speed E hand cleaner. But I'm gonna get the moth ones. They can keep their hand cleaner. I have like so many of these. By the way, if you'd like one of these, send me a message. <laughs> Just send me a message. Oh look, some Bartlett Collins. These are Bartlett Collins cookie jars, the glass ones. So there's a yellow in there and this um, white one. The one in the back is the Cookies All Over by Napco Wear. Napco wear, it's either Napco or Napco wear, but that's the cookies all over pattern. People like that one. People do. People like it. Oh, here's some more tens. Now I like this one right here. That's a good one. It's a good early one. And it says trinket ten on it. That might have been originally like a chocolate ten though. Oftentimes they were. This uh oh, I'm hitting a thing behind me. Anyway, fourteen fifty on that one, which is not bad. No, it's not. I was running into this regal wall satin latex paint sign. That's what I was running into. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at the little angels. I did not see you before. I did not see you. Hello. You get the pair for six. Oh my goodness, look at their hair. You look silly. What a silly angel. Um, should I, should I do that? I'm going to do it. Yes, I will. Oh my gosh. Look at this girl. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, you get the bowl and the plate for nine bucks. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, that's hilarious. I'm gonna get that. That's hilarious. See? I'm finding all this stuff going the other direction. Just raggedy. Girl is sitting on the ground. That's what she's doing. She had a day and she is over it. All right, so I just finished up here at the antique mall and I did pretty well. I mean, I didn't find a whole bunch of stuff, but I did well. I, I found some interesting things, like all my moth tins. That's a lot of moth tins. So for for now, for, so for, for now. Well, for now, <laughs> I don't know. Anywho, anyways, um, I will wrap it up here. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.